This is a small oscillator and it's meant to test crystals and ceramic filters. This is a ceramic filter here. It's 4.5 megahertz and um, it's connected in an oscillator circuit. Here you see the oscillator circuit. It consists of a BD139. It's not a real high frequency transistor, but it works good up to approximately 100 megahertz. These are the pin connections. With this potentiometer you can set the working point from the transistor and the crystal or ceramic filter is connected between the base here and the collector. You can see it, so this is the way the lead goes via a 82 picofarad capacitor back to the base. And here is the unknown crystal. Um, this uh, capacitor is also important. It's a, a 56 picofarad capacitor. Uh, it damps more or less the crystal and you can get a better waveform when you switch this crystal on but sorry this uh, capacitor on but also it's possible that the oscillator doesn't work any longer so sometimes this um, switch will work and in other cases it won't work here you see the output there's some distortion uh, caused by the load from the counter but that makes not much sense because um, we only want to know whether our crystal or ceramic filter works. Here you can connect the scope. So this is the circuit again. I now connect the dismal filter and we're going to demonstrate now what happens when we change the working point from the transistor. I have to find my screwdriver. Okay, here you see what happens when we change the working point from the transistor. And this is with a ceramic filter. So here the oscillation is at its maximum. I'm going to connect now the crystal. This is a crystal from 8.16 megahertz. It's a crystal from World War II. Still functions properly. 8.166 megahertz. And on the counter you can see that the frequency is very precise and it means that in World War II they made very good crystals. The American factories that have made this crystal. I can also change now the working point from the transistor. I do that now. So here you see a changing working point also gives a changed waveform, but uh, that's no problem. Now I switch on the small extra capacitor that we've talked about earlier, but the whole circuit doesn't want to oscillate. Okay, now I want to demonstrate a crystal from uh, 39 megahertz and there are some peculiar things this crystal reads 39 megahertz but on the scope I see only 13 megahertz 
and I assume this is an overtone crystal. It's meant uh, for an overtone circuit and in an overtone circuit you will find here a tank circuit that's um, set to the higher frequency, the third harmonic from that crystal. This is the waveform. So I only want to demonstrate now that with this tester you can also find uh, overtone crystals. Now I change again the working point. You can see it here. But in all cases I will find 13 megahertz. So 3 times 13.09 megahertz will be approximately uh, 39.28 megahertz. And the circuit is usable, but it doesn't work below approximately 1 megahertz.